you guys might actually remember the story that we spoke about where Pastor Paul and Eche uh, just humiliated this lady for no reason, honestly speaking. And uh, now they seem to have uh, reconciled uh, with the NHA family. Uh, but on that particular idea of they are reconciling themselves and, and the whole nine hojes, you can actually see they met and stuff like that. I have a lot of things to say about that. But on top of that, I want to bring in a Mythbusters episode uh, to talk about this particular subject. Uh, there's an episode of, of Mythbusters on uh, season number seven, episode number 11. I want to talk about that episode and uh, I want you to, I want us to go that route. The reason why I want to use this Mythbuster episode is because on this episode of Mythbusters, if you watch it, it's on YouTube, you will see that uh, they, they, they were trying to see if you can walk blind. If you are walking blindfolded, can you walk straight? And then they tried it different ways. They went swimming. They went, can you swim straight? Uh, can you drive straight? And they, they go through many different ideas around that. And so for some of you, you might be already getting ahead of me. <laughs> be like, yeah, no, Rick, I think I know where you're going with it. And so, but I want us to have the conversation. They even had a, I think it was a statement or something like that, that I saw uh, published on Twitter. I'm not sure if it is an official statement or if someone else wrote it because I didn't see it on their ministry page. Maybe I just looked in the wrong places. But uh, those are the things that I want us to talk about in this particular episode. This subject matter is important. And it's also important when you look at people who are in abusive relationships. The reason why I say that, okay, not being mean towards the Pauls here, uh, it's that there is a tendency to minimize one's role when they look at other people's roles. That's the reason why I want to bring this particular subject. On this route, I, I know I've layered it. Né? If you are new to this channel, that's how we talk about truth. We apply, we, we look for things that apply to the subject. It's the Rick Shiali, the show with the daily Christian commentary videos. If it's your first time over here, to be sure, check out the other videos that are down in the pinned comments and I'm going to check you out over there. And so, Paul and Nature, this, uh, try to humiliate this lady and uh, this thing in this entire thing backfired because we started seeing posts that actually confirmed that the lady was a graduate and all that in Tahoeches. And it was not just the graduation, it was not just doubting graduation. He undermined her on the basis of how she spoke English. And then he says, Does a lawyer speak like that? So that was undermining the person. It wasn't just, it's not like uh, there was an error, you know, about the degree. But then why do you have to then go and talk about uh, how she speaks English? Is that how lawyers speak? That's a pride issue. That's a, but then, if you see the apology video, I think they made a huge mistake with this thing. I don't, I don't even know why they thought this was a good idea. Uh, and so... You remember that picture that I showed you earlier on where they were standing together. You would wonder how was the how did they render their apology? If you actually go on online and you actually look, you'll see it's a head talking. She is the one who is talking. The Pauls are just there smiling, taking out teeth. That's not an apology. It's not an apology. I just wanna I just wanna be very clear. It's not an apology because the person who did who you did wrong to can't be the one that's talking for you unless you're trying to save face. Now, what do I mean by save face? You are the one who said something wrong. That person can't come speaking for you. That's a terrible P -I -A -P -P -R -P -R stunt. They would have the person directly come and say, you know, uh, mommy and daddy love uh, what, what, 
you know, they are still my spiritual father and whatnot and stuff like that. I did see someone actually kind of questioning uh, and saying, you know what, around 2020, she was in a different church. She called that person a, a her spiritual mother. And so people have this thing of wanting to do uh, testimonies in bigger churches. So the person was saying, you know, you should have just kept to that church and gave a testimony in that church. Different subject for another day. <laughs> you know, bigger testimonies. They require a bigger platform. <laughs> um, now, if you got your testimony in a small church, why not do it down there? Now, but that's a different story altogether, okay? And so, that's something that someone had posted on Facebook and stuff. But, you see, the fact that she is the one who is speaking. You see, that scenario where you have... Um, a man being accused of being abusive, right? Let's say in a scenario like that. And then you, you have her, her husband come out to make a speech about it. No, I am okay. You remember there was that lady from Limpopo. There was that lady from Limpopo, by the way, the lady ended up dying because people kept warning her, hey, this is your boyfriend. He's a very strange one. And the, the man will be there sitting there, just sitting there. And the woman is the one who's speaking. No, as we are in love, I know you people, you say I am being abused, whatnot. And then it, it, it would end like that. The story would end like that. He's clearly abusive, whatnot, all those things. But then the, the one who's a victim is the one who is speaking for the other person. This, you see this tendency? I wanted to, to make a comparison. I wanted an image of comparison or something you can compare it to. That's a very bad trace. That's only done by a person who does not understand. And who's not in a position to understand. You see, I, you can't, if I'm the one who did wrong, I'm the one who must speak. And Kiram, it's my apology. It's my apology. Now, that's not an apology if that person is speaking. It was the same thing that Makamu did with his wife and whatnot. The wife was there speaking, what, 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 all that kind of hojes. But Alan, stop this stuff. Stop this nonsense. It's nonsense. Because I don't know if you think we are fooled into, oh yeah, it's him. No, it's not you. You are not the one who's apologizing. Even Apostle Suleiman used to do the same thing. Someone says something about him, he brings the person to come and say things contrary to the thing. So I wanted to just start with that. You do, it, that, it does, that does not work. It's not an apology from you. Okay? So please, uh, leave that one alone. Now, this takes me to the statement that, uh, that you saw on Twitter and so forth. You know where they are saying, firstly, listen to her, uh, to the testifier. Uh, expression of the borders on basic on basic uh, spoken English convey an impression that uh, an impression that the minimum standard expected of a graduate especially of a law uh, is not met and so that's why I say it's not an apology because they're giving a reason to say she spoke in a certain way now uh, maybe this is fake maybe I don't know because I couldn't find this particular statement unless they just deleted it and other people had downloaded it and uploaded it somewhere. That's a sign that it's not an apology because they are still using the same thing of saying, yeah, you see, her English did not sound like a graduate. What does a graduate's English sound like? I'm not even going to talk about that. That's that's a very serious because they, they, they then just go to, yeah, you see, this then prompted him to kind of uh, to, to, to say what he said. And then at the bottom it says... Uh, uh, as a commission, we regret the uh, uh, the inconvenience and hurt and embarrassment this unfortunate scenario has caused to Mrs. So and So. We re we remain committed to her physical well-being and a spiritual uh -huh. apology. That's not an apology. <laughs> and then they are saying we we who's we who's we? It's one person who are speaking. Leave PR work. Stop getting people to apologize for you. 
it's other people apologize so the pr team is apologizing for him the what and even in that video how do you expect that he understands what an apology is if it is not even him who is, is speaking in the video it is her who is saying no guys uh, they are still my spiritual father uh, i still love them we love each other we love one another Tararam, ta, 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 ta. now let's leave that part <laughs> okay yes let's le let's be merciful and leave that part i want to go to the mythbusters episode so that i can explain what i was saying earlier on in this mythbuster episode season number seven episode number 11 one of my favorite episodes in these episodes, as I said, they are trying to, to, to see, can a person being blindfolded, right? Can a person who's being blindfolded walk in a straight line? And so that's kind of like the myth that they're trying to debunk. Like, if you have a sense of what straight looks like, would you walk in a straight line? I'll tell you why I want to use this as an example for us. So... First, they start with walking, you know, they cover themselves and try to walk. And then they show something here because um, this particular gentleman in the episode, he's very much trained. Like he has a bit of training, survival training. And so because of his ex uh, training in, uh, in survival, he, he develops certain ideas that allow him to navigate. And so that helps him walk in somewhat of a straight line b based on what he encounters on the road and whatnot. But the one who's not trained, he just goes his own way. But then there is another part when they go to, to try and drive in a straight line. And what happens is that when they try to drive in a straight line, they found that even that could not help driving you actually went off route then they said okay they thought you know because remember they are trying to debunk the myth you know so then they tied each other to uh between two two different people and then they thought you know this would help at least have you have what would look like a straight line and so they try to walk in that way but still they still went in circles Okay, they still went in circles even during that particular scenario now the other one the, the one that i want to make a reference to it's at actually i think it's at 42 minutes at 42 minutes uh this is where the mythbusters actually they show something when they were when it comes to the driving test okay and what they were trying to show was that the reason why when you are driving, you go off track is that uh, you would see the car just completely went uh, the other direction. Was that the direction was now based on what you thought. So you had drawn a map in your head and you thought this is what feels right. This is, this is right. This is straight. And the myth, but, um, Adam in the, in the thing is the one that actually says this at around 42 minutes he says because of this compass that you have created in your mind that this is what straight looks like that's that's why you continuously do not make adjustments when you are driving you are consistently making small adjustments small adjustments that keep you straight so you're going straight but then you have consistently you're consistently making small adjustments that allow you to continue going straight but then, when you are sitting on a, on, a, on, a, on, a, on a car and you just hold the, car, the, the steering wheel straight, they say, you don't realize that small little adjustments might be happening that actually steer you to a, to a wrong direction. Why do I make that example of the Miss Busters? You see, the Bible gives us the what, the direction. The, di the Bible is the guiding line. That tells us we are walking right. This idea of having people apologize for you, what pastors like doing this nonsense. It's nonsense. Stop it. It doesn't work. Even people, when they are caught in maybe abusive relationships, they have their partner. Don't do that. You are either apologizing or... Why? Because basically you are undermining what you did there. 
and you are you are making us look like we are stupid for saying you were wrong <laughs> that's that's the attempt of that don't do that you see like the mythbusters explained there on that thing when you because you are blindfolded it was worse even when they went to the water and tried swimming blindfolded they just you just swim in circles you swim in circle so you can go watch the episode it explains it or i'll leave it down in the description below it highlights this particular thing when you when you try to walk by your own compass you create a lot of pieces because you don't realize that small adjustments are needed to keep you walking straight and those adjustments is what the bible dictates for us and so because you keep creating your own version of right you know this one apologize for you the pr team apologize for you they apologize for you you see you are never held accountable that's why they when they go wrong they go crazy you wonder how did this person get here because that person has never realized what wrong what correction looks like they've been dodging it they've been doing funny things they've been going bad for a very long time the other time we were talking about that audio that came out about the wife why you do you, you see the things that you, that was said in that audio it's a reflection of this because you people don't understand what an apology looks like you don't understand the wrong you know they are there you see the the reasoning yeah you see the english was not you see that's that's exactly why <laughs> this apology is not an apology at all Oh, we regret. We, how can you say we when it was one person who was speaking? Like the mythbuster said, when you constantly if, if you were if you were constantly drawing an, an image in your mind. Because you are blindfolded, trying to walk on a straight line. You don't realize that based on that map, you still feel like you are going on the right route. Can't little do you realize that you are completely deviated? So I wanted to bring that in. You can go watch the video. You know, as a matter of fact, some some of the moments, the Mythbusters themselves, they are even shocked. They're like, you know what? I thought with this test it would be better, but look at how it turns out. That's why we have the Bible. It it directs us on how things are done. Strict shared show today. Uploads on this particular channel. Other episodes that will be down in the pinned comments. And I must see you on a later on video. Ah, this was a pastor should stop this thing. Other people apologizing for you. You apologize through statement. If you were saying it on a uh, on a video, and then now your apologies in writing format. It's not even you. We once you say we, we have a problem. Because when you say we, do you mean that lady also is now a police? And then you release a video, and in the video, it's her who's speaking. What's going on here? And people, please stay in your churches. Stop going to bigger churches so that you can give a nicer testimony. You want your, your testimony to be glowing. <laughs> I'll see you on a later on episode.